Hi heathens! So I want to try something today um, to actually enter in a giveaway contest type thing. So I already have my glasses off because I want to focus on an eye look. So I've already taken all of my makeup off. My lips look kind of rough, but that's another conversation. So I am going to start with priming my eyes and then I'll let y'all know what palette I'm going to go into. So the center of this show, I know like I said center, center of this is going to be the mascara I use actually. So just keep that in mind that this look may come out crazy because I have never used this palette and honestly I'm really not that good with bright colors. So, just putting that in the air because the palette that I wanna use is pretty much nothing but, because we are going to be using the Beauty Killer palette from Jeffree Star. So first, I do want to go into the shade Courtney, which is I'm sorry, it's upside down, but it's that kind of nude neutral shade. Get my brush, brush my brush off. I believe it still has some pigment on it from this morning. We're gonna hope that doesn't interfere. There's a little bit of powder <sighs> that just blew back in my face. So we're gonna lay that down as a base. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to be making fun of me and mocking me because, quite frankly, I have no idea what I'm doing. But there are some people that are born with natural talent. I'm not one of those in any way, shape, or form. So... I work with what I got. So I'm using that mirror because the lighting in here makes it so this side always looks a little bit darker. So I have to <laughs> I have to make sure it's not actually darker. Which of course I mean it is now, but that's because I just went back over it. So, of course, it's going to be darker because it has more layers. Okay, so now that I've built that back up, not back, it ever was, I'm going to actually go in with, I think, this shade. Because you can't tell, the top of my dress is gray, but the bottom is like a purpley pink. So, I'm going to do the purple and the pink shades. And we'll see how that turns out. Since this one's a little brighter, I'm going to go in with this one first. It's not as powdery as the other. Holy crap. Powdery as the other one. This shade, this palette, ain't playing around. They are just packing the pigment. It's not bad. My blending, not the palette. The palette's gorgeous. My blending and overall skill is what might make any of this look questionable. But we are just going to roll with it and just pretend that I have any idea what I'm doing. Sad from the fact that this one goes down way too far. The other one's higher. Let's try to bring this one up. See, this one, my eyebrows are screwed up. So it's not actually higher. It just looks way higher. Because it's closer to my eyebrow. So we're just going to try to even that out. I 
it does not want to blend out all the way right across that top. See, now that I have that one higher, you can tell the difference because it looks so much higher. So, yes, I'm using my fingers because I don't have a makeup wipe handy because I am not prepared. Just trying to see if anything could substitute for a makeup wipe, but it can't. I think I just dyed my eyebrow pink. Hold that thought. We're gonna try to fix that up a little bit. I have a little bit of a BB cream here. I'm gonna see if I can cover some of that. Too much. Put it all up in my eyebrow. See if we can clean that skin up because it is looking a little pink now. This one still comes down further, but I think I can fix that as well. Alright, this is my last shot trying to even this out and then I'm going to move on. I'm going to use this mirror just because it's closer. it does not want to even out because now I have played around with that area too much. Whatever. We're going with it. So I'm going to switch to a smaller brush that's just a little thinner and we go into that purple shade which is violence. I forgot to tell you all the pink is star power. So we're going to go into that purple is really pretty and I'm actually gonna use this mirror because it's a little easier to see because I want to pack this in the crease but not not as high and I'm gonna try to bring it in to cover some of that skin <laughs> that's just aggressively there you hear Casper in the background complaining about that. Continuing to complain about that. And so I have very large eyebrows for my face. Which sounds crazy. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this. But you see right there where it's trying to look patchy? It's not the shadow. It's my eyelids. Because they're too big for my eyes. And due to that, when I do small swiping motions, my eyelid, I don't think overlap is the right word, but it kind of overlaps itself. And it just makes it difficult. So, I'm going to try to pat this instead. See if that helps. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring it over some because I brought it over a little too far on the other eye. And since we are not starting this look over, we just gonna make a match. Because I am not about to do all this over again. Eh. Whatever. I am going to deepen it up though. And I'm just changing the entire way I'm going to do it. Also, I'll show you in a second, but this color, I can't talk while I do it, does actually have quite, quite a bit of fallout. I'm actually scared to wipe that away because I wiped away a little bit over here. And it kind of smeared. But we only keep on keeping on. If you could hear me. So we're just gonna 
deepen that and bring that in just a little bit more. That side's not quite as bad. What's the fallout? It could just be because this eyelid's the one that's all fun. So I'm gonna use the brush that I'm gonna wind up using for my highlighter anyway and try to dust that away. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go back into that purple. Try to smoke out the lower lash line. And honestly, the only reason I'm doing a palette this vibrant, since I don't know what I'm doing, is because the black mascara that I want to stand out is a black mascara. So I figure the brighter my eye, the more it's going to stand out. Now here's the fun part. You thought that was scary. We're going to go in with the Infallible Paints liquid liner. No. Yes, no, maybe so. He says no, so no. By L'Oreal in Intrepid Teal. And we're gonna see what happens. And I'm really bad. Really bad at liquid liner. So, take that as a disclaimer. It has a gorgeous color though. I'm stretching that skin a little bit just to make sure that I am getting everything covered that needs to be covered. And I know people are out there screaming because there is a little bit of skin that is still showing right up top. But um, we're going to fix that in just a second. Now the trick is if I can get it even, which I don't think I can. How far did I do that? That length of the brush? Okay. I can kind of see where that purple fell still. But we are just gonna roll with it. Casper is not ha <laughs> ha. Uh Casper's not happy about that. and has aggressive jumps. Well, we're gonna make this work. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wing it out a couple times and make it look like all of this nonsense was on purpose. So we're gonna go up, middle, and down. That is not even close to being even. Holy crap. We're gonna pretend it is. I'm just gonna show you this side of my face. We're gonna pretend this side doesn't exist because this side actually looks decent for what it is. So for highlight, I wanted to do something a little subtle. So we're gonna do the Air by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna try to cover that eye the whole rest of the video. because it is really pretty, but it's not going to overpower the eye look. Do you see that? That's not catching it quite right. 
doesn't help that my face is oily, so we just gonna pretend that it looks fabulous. Like this eye, not that eye. And then star of the show, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Because I love it. And this is what I need. So, just look at that. Look at that. I have not dipped it back in yet, which makes it so much better. I keep feeling like I'm gonna blink, and it drives me nuts. Because if I know if I do that, then absolutely all of this is for nothing. Trust Fun Beauty Gloss. Because again, I don't want anything that's going to overpower the amazing other. And we'll finish this off with a little Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. It's just going everywhere. I don't think it's too bad. If I can just walk around like this the whole time. That's horrifying. So I guess this turned into a what not to do. So maybe someone somewhere can find that useful because That's just bad. Um, so from this side, I will see y'all next time. I hope y'all stick around. Leave any thoughts below and let me know if you have any ideas. Thanks. <laughs>